Right, hello and welcome to another video. I'm just going to show you a few things that I've been doing and then I'm going to get into removing these pins off the receiver. I'm going to rotate the three S-Bus pins through 180 degrees so that it fits nicely on the on the uh, base here behind the flight controller. I've also made 3D printed this part which has got a little bit of a bit sticking out here so that it can sit here on the mini try so the idea is that that's going to sit there then the receiver is going to sit like this and the antenna will curl around and they'll be attached with shrink cores like this to the like this to the um, to the tie wraps here as you can see so the first thing is to just turn these around then I'm going to also extend the power wire and then we'll see how far I get and then I might mount the um, control board and just connect the motors into it and the rear server. So I hope you enjoy. Right so what I want to do here is I want to just use these three pins here which are closest to the white connector and the edge of the board. Now I want to remove the all the rest of the pins without damaging the board so I'm going to use this solder braid. I've never actually used this before so We'll see how it goes. Right, so the, vid the, the braid doesn't seem to be working very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick this piece of plastic off, the, off here and then just take them out individually. I only need to keep three of them for, my, for, the, for the new bit. So I'm just going to... Put a screwdriver down the gap and just push it, push it down, just like that. So now hopefully they should just drop out individually if I start with the back ones. I might end up putting some solder back on them. Increase the temperature a bit up to say 300 degrees. So I just want to try clean these three holes out here. Got my solder sucker. Right, so I've got my three holes clear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to take this, put the long ones with the long edge back in. And see how it's going to fit. Obviously, just cut that off there. So there you go, that's it installed. So then the flight controller plugs in like this. Then pins are actually slightly long, that's why they're not that's why the connector's not going in all the way, so I might just snip pins down slightly so that the connector sits right to the bottom. Let's 
that's it. So then that'll sit. So the idea is that that will sit on this board. And the flight control will sit here. I'll just fold the the bits up, the screws up nicely, uh, the wires up nicely to fit everything in. So I might mount, might mount this to the to the tricopter next. I'm just just behind these two holes here, so that when you put the top the top deck on, it just comes behind. And then also, I've put these. This is exactly halfway between the back and the front props uh, motor mount so basically it's equally away from the props for when, when I'm flying so I'm just gonna next I'm just gonna adjust this so what I'll do is I'll just show me doing one wire on this and I'll just do the rest off camera because it's just a repeat of everything so I'll just set, set up for that so I recommend I think I'm gonna cut what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double up on the power and the ground and then this one is obviously the ones for voltage and ones for current I'm not sure which is which but just connect them through to the same colors so what I'll do with this is I will use a knife um, so you're not doing as much pulling might even be an idea to get a razor blade and then what you can do is you can just put them on the table and just roll them roll them with a bit of pressure and just pull them off so that's that'll be the easiest way to do them ones and then these ones I think you'll just have to bend them and just try roll them against your finger very carefully just flick the end off like that just try not to cut through the wires and then just grab some shrink hose and uh, shrink it on and then just do the same on the other side so I'll uh, do all that and I'll come back in a bit right so this is the last one I'll just show you how I've done it so I just put this on here just to stretch it slightly because it's just going into two wires so first of all you want to slide your shrink hose over your wire yeah. Clean off your soldering iron. And just put a dab of solder on it, a tiny bit. And then just hide them together like that, solder them together like that, then just slide your, your shrink hose up. Shrink it with your lighter like that, and that's your new made up bit of wire. I just give them a little pull just to make sure they're nicely connected. They'll look fantastic. Make sure they go to the correct locations, usually. Yep, yeah, that all looks excellent. So that's ready to go on the quad, uh, on the tricopter. So I think the last thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put this on here a bit of double sided tape what I've done is I've just filed off the bottom flat you can see there's a bit of an area there where it's just bowed on the print so I've filed it off flat and then what I've done is I've just got a razor blade and just scraped it flat like that to make sure it's as flat as possible and then what I'll do is I'll just on here I'll just scratch the surface a bit here it as well it makes it a bit rougher for the tape to stick to something so I'm just going to go find my double sided tape and uh, have a put a little square on there right so that's pretty much everything's been fit on now um, so as you can see I've mounted the X4R the antennas have come round looped back on themselves and come down these little tie wraps I've just shrunk those two points on either one just to hold the antenna in place I've also mounted the control board and then this can just fit on top nicely there so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up the motors. I think how it goes is you get have a, the servo first, then you miss a pin, and then it's motor one, two, and three after that. But I'm not sure. I'm going to set that off all up on camera, and then I'll uh, bring my laptop and I'll show you how I've done that. And also, every time I power on the servo, wants to seem to turn to the left hand side here, so it must be something to do with the centering. So I'll work all that out, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how to do it all so I hope you enjoyed that bit of the installment and uh, I'll see you later for the next one